Hello everyone, Daryl here to share with you what's happened with me in the 14 months I've gotten into uh, this new hobby of astrophotography. I started off with my Nikon D850 and 150 to 600 millimeter Sigma Contemporary Zoom that together weighed about nine pounds. And after some basic shooting of the moon from a tripod, I wanted more. And I, I did a little exploration, learned about Star Trekkers, and I bought my first Star Trekker, a Skywatcher Star Adventurer Pro that I quickly discovered the two pound counterweight of it was not nearly enough to balance the eight, actually nine pounds of gear that eventually would come to be mounted on it, including guide scope and auto guide camera and additional cabling that you don't see here. But I didn't want to spend $35 for another counterweight, so I thought, okay, what can I do? You know, How can we address this? And I found a solution for the uh, ioptron skyguider pro that pete zelenka had mentioned where a extension arm was used so i applied that same idea to my mount and bought a about a nine inch long eight inch long aluminum rod that was already bored so i tapped it out for a metric thread screwed that into the end of my counterweight arm on the uh, star adventure pro and sure enough with that with that extra, extra extension and being able to slide the weight out further that did balance my setup as you can see here but it also created a lot of torque that i thought would be bad for the motor so i went to lowe's hardware and bought a galvanized pipe cap bushing a large flat washer and assembled all that together with a bolt running through it so i had a one pound weight that i could now screw onto the end of my oem oem arm as a fixed weight while the OEM weight itself remained adjustable, and that gave me a really nice, balanced, distributed counterweighting that worked great. And I've shot exposures as long as 12 or 13 minutes without star trails in this configuration. Now, there have been other optimizations I've made and addressed in my other YouTube videos here, but that's the basic concept of what I was working with. And after that, you know, within a couple of weeks actually of starting the hobby, I just, you know, I thought, okay, there's got to be an easier way to do this. Instead of using a laptop computer and software to control the auto guiding and do plate solutions and whatnot, I started reading and I learned about what was just a game changer for me and really made this hobby much more enjoyable and engaging to get into. And that was the ZWO ASIR Pro Imaging Controller which you now see here mounted on the left leg of the tripod. All of the cabling now in place to control, the, to control things, so you kind of see uh, what a full configuration looks like. And that controller communicates wirelessly with either a tablet or smartphone using a app on one of those devices to define your imaging sessions, perform plate solutions, give you annotated uh, displays of your sky so you can see your targets and it's just really nice but I also decided I wanted a more precise wedge the uh, altitude uh, azimuth wedge that comes with the Skywatcher Pro was a good one but felt a little uneven in its adjustment so I replaced it with the red one you see here which is a William Optics high precision you know finely made CNC made uh, all aluminum wedge and that was a, a nice upgrade it was expensive about half the price of my tracker at two hundred dollars the tracker itself being four hundred but then after two months in the Bortle two skies of Idaho out west and visiting my sister I really came to appreciate the shortcomings of a zoom lens and those less than ideal stars so when I returned home to Tennessee finding more and more products becoming available I found the William Optics Zenith Star 2 lens was available and I bought that and not a month later the IEM the I, the Ioptron CEM 40 equatorial go-to mount so between the lens and the mount this was a significant upgrade to my astrophotography imaging capability and I've started really getting a lot of nice photos and you know just again much more enjoying the hobby well that still wasn't quite enough so shortly after Christmas I spoiled myself and I bought a new astrophotography camera a dedicated full-spectrum one-shot color camera 
choosing to go that direction instead of monochrome just because of the extra overhead of uh, shooting multiple images in the different colors needed but yet understanding a one-shot color camera still doesn't give you quite you know the as magnificent an image as monochrome cameras can but this was the way I chose to go and then just this past week I caved in and bought my first larger OTA or telescope. This is the Astrotech AT125 EDL. It's a 975 millimeter focal length f7.8 aperture telescope that with a 0.8x flattener gives me 780 millimeters at I think around f6.5 or so. And I've actually got a session underway, my first imaging session tonight as I'm talking. But the only thing I found taking me right back to the beginning of this hobby for me I had to balance that telescope. The counterweight on my CEM40 mount wasn't enough, so I assembled more galvanized pipe parts and made the counterweight extension you see here. And that works like a champ. It's four and a half pounds of added weight. And now all I need is clear skies. And I wish you the same and much success in your own astrophotography imaging.